Isometric means having equal dimensions. And basically, isometric drawing allows you to see three different sides of an object, all at the proper scale, size, and everything else that matters in the drawing. On the screen, you'll see isometric graph paper. And unlike typical graph paper, this has lines going in three different directions. We're gonna represent the lines in three different colors so that we can better understand what they are and what they stand for. Our red line is called our x-axis, just like it would be in math class. Now this represents the width of an object, or how big something is from left to right. You can always tell this because it has a negative slope, where the lines are always going down toward the bottom right hand side of the page. Our green line represents y, just like math class, or height in this case. It shows us how tall something is, from top to bottom. And it's always going to be represented by straight vertical lines. And finally, our blue line represents depth, or how big something is from back to front. These are represented by lines that have a positive slope, or go up towards the top right-hand side of the page if you're working from left to right. When you combine X, Y, and Z with lines, you can go ahead and create a 3D representation of almost any object in an isometric sketch. Again, isometric just means that dimensions are equal and that we're representing something fairly on the piece of paper. If you're just getting started with isometric drawing, I suggest that you draw only square or rectangular objects and make sure you're always staying on the lines. It'll make your life significantly easier and make your drawings far better and more accurate. And also remember, if you don't have isometric graph paper, all you need is a blank piece of paper and a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and you'll be able to go ahead and create isometric drawings without the graph paper. In a future video, we'll explore how to create views and also understand isometric drawings for representations in other drafting material. See you then.